Once I get certain dogs to a certain stage in their training, I like to use group training on the odd occasion. So when I bring the pack out to have a run and a play, I then bring them in, sit them up, make them sit and calm down. And it teaches the youngsters by following the older dogs, the dogs that know what they're doing, who's done it time and time again. And so when you bring the odd youngster in that's having to learn boundaries, it does them good to just sit, calm down and wait until released. So it's a bit of a game we play and they're waiting. You can see the focus on some of them is far higher than the others. I need more focus from the Labrador look. He's there, but he's not really focused on me like my own Spaniels look. Dougie's the same. The cocker bitch is getting better, Darcy. But it's nice to bring them out and sit them up and then give them that freedom again to, to roam around, play, and then call them back in, sit them up. And it's like making a game of it and then they enjoy it because they're waiting for the release. The release is the, is the positive, it's the reward that they get to let them go again. So when I call them in, they will go to come in. But when I start playing that game, a lot of them will stay a lot tighter because they know we're playing that game, because they've played it before. So some dogs are, are preempting what I'm going to do because they know what's going to happen, where the other dogs don't know this, and they're opening up. Look at Dougie, he's having great fun, look, he's enjoying himself, but he's got to learn to switch off and sit there, even with other dogs. People say to me, should you socialise your dogs? To a certain extent, but who are you going to socialise them with? If you're socialising them with a, a bunch of naughty dogs, then what happens your dog can become naughty, they can be fighting, there can be aggression, and it changes the mindset of the dog. If a young dog gets into a fight with another dog, it changes the mindset of the dog. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm working on focus, I'm, and then I'm freeing them, letting them have that fun, that burst of, of excitement. Wiz has done it all before, so it's nothing new to him. But it's nice to run the pack, but you have to be in control of the pack. And people say, oh, there's no such thing as pack pack of dogs they're not descendant from wolves well i'll disagree here i think there has to be a pack authority there has to be a leader and the others have to follow and they're all different some want to part their ass some don't want to part their ass some you've got to make them part their ass at the end of the day I, i'm trying to help these youngsters here look at dougie the concentration on him is nowhere near as good as it should be for as long as he's been here but he's very immature look he moved again but I just literally released him at that point and off he went, look, because he wanted that freedom. But he's got to learn to switch off, so you've got to tell him. And the other dogs have got to learn to cope with pressure. If I'm telling one dog off for not sitting, they've got to realise it's not them under pressure, it's that dog that's not sitting. It's as simple as that. So that's how we build this up. We build it up in slow increments and we build it up in stages. First we teach them to sit on their own, then we start to teach them to sit together as a group. And then we can start to teach them to sit there and throw one retrieve out and send one dog at a time. So you build it up in stages. But what's happening? We've got four youngsters in here that are in for training. And all of them are at that first stage of training where you've got to get the focus. You've got to get the desire. You've got to get the dog want to play the game. And then you start to put in the ground rules. And then you start to put in discipline. And that's what it's about. So look at him park his ass really nice, really quick. But he moved so i told him to stop again look but the stop whistle and they all stopped and they just got to sit there and wait until i free them they're not allowed to move until i free them there you go then i free them then they say hang on this is fun i come in sit still and then off we go so it's all good fun for them same situation here look look at him come forward look he moved forward he shouldn't have moved forward i just told him to sit keep calm teach him He's got to switch off like everybody else. Look at him get up again. Look, look at him not listen. Tell him to sit again. And that's because he's very immature. And you can't push some of these dogs. Some of these dogs do take longer than others. And some breeds are different than others. But he's having a wonderful life. And that's what it's about. He's learning through gameplay as well as socialisation. As well as being part of a pack. Some people ask me, why do I use the word sit up? The reason I use the word sit up is because, like I've just shown you, some people say sit and some people say up. 
So what I do is I use the word sit up. So when somebody come and pick a dog up from me, if they say up, the dog sits. If they say sit, the dog sits. So it doesn't matter that it's just a double word. It's sit up. It's nice and clear. It's calm. And yet it sends a message. And sit means sit. Up means up. If a dog won't sit in this environment like this and wait, how will it sit on a chute and behave itself? Yes, you can keep it on a lead during the drive, but that's not a trained dog. A trained dog should be off the lead, sitting there next to you and behaving itself and only going when told. That's the way you should train. Now, that doesn't happen straight away. Sometimes that takes two years before you can get a dog to that standard that you can fully trust it on a chute that will just sit there and not move. That's because you've taken your time to train it. You've still not destroyed the drive, but you've got the control. Too many people rush their dogs and take them on shoots too soon, messing them up in the first season. It's so easy to ruin the work that you put into the dog if you don't know what you're doing. My videos show you how to train a dog and what standards you should get to before you go on a shoot.